Need another recipe for a cool summer broccoli and cauliflower salad. I mean, it's got a yummy, delicious dressing. Look at that creaminess. Let's make this. I'm Catherine with Catherine's Plates, where everything is simply delicious. To start with our recipe, we're going to chop up one head of cauliflower and two heads of broccoli. I'm going to rinse these off first, and then we want to get these into bite-sized pieces. Now this recipe is going to call for some bacon, so I'm going to place it on a sheet pan and we're going to bake it in the oven at 425 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes until we get that desired crispness. I'm going to cook about 8 to 10 pieces just because I like to have extra bacon. I like to steam my cauliflower and my broccoli. That way there's some softness to it, but I don't want to over steam the vegetables. So you can pop these in a steamable bag and place them in the microwave. I'm going to be using a just a medium sized pot today. And I have this little basket right here, which will help steam the vegetables. So I'm going to take my cauliflower that I've already washed. Just take off the core and then I'm going to cut this into bite-sized pieces. That way it's manageable for people when they eat your salad. Now if you don't like cauliflower you can certainly use this recipe and do it all broccoli. Just double up on your broccoli. All right, this is the steam basket that I'm using. So I'm just going to place my cauliflower in it. We're going to bring our steamer basket over and then place it in. Put the burner onto a high heat. We're going to let this come to a boil. Then we're going to lower the heat and steam it for just four minutes. Okay, we're going to start cutting the broccoli just like we did the cauliflower. Now I've already washed it and we want to cut these into little florets that are bite size. Now this recipe came out of my Catherine's Plates cookbook volume one. And it was on page 65. I love this cookbook because it has a lot of my classic recipes in it. It's one of my favorites. Now you can find the link for this cookbook down below in the description box, or you can also find it in Catherine'sPlates.com under the cookbook tab. I also have a cookbook two and also cookbook three which will be out hopefully in the next two weeks. Now once you start seeing this start steaming, you can go ahead and put a lid on it, lower the heat a little bit, and let it steam for about four minutes or until you get to the desired tenderness that you want on your cauliflower. All right, let's go ahead and get these started. That way when that's done, we can pull these out and then we can steam these. Okay, that's about the size we're looking for. Oh, it's summer. Bring out these salads. I got a lot of salad recipes. I love making different salads. Okay, so I'm bringing a bowl over here. Nice serving bowl. What I'm going to do is just put some paper towels in the bottom of it because we're just going to let these drain. Okay, they're nice and tender, almost al dente. We're going to go ahead and take these out, place them into our bowl with the paper towels. And then we're going to add the broccoli right in. 
We're going to go ahead and add our broccoli to the steaming water. Place the lid on about three to four minutes. Okay, I've taken the paper towels out because these are nice and dried. What I'm going to do is place another batch of paper towels right on the inside of that. That way when we put the broccoli in, the paper towels will collect the water. Just pat them dry a little bit. What we're going to do now is add some delicious flavors to our broccoli and cauliflower. I'm going to take a red onion and we're going to dice this up. Probably going to do about half of it. Depends on how big your onion is. Let's just take off the ends. Take off that outer layer. It's a pretty color. It'll look really good in this salad. Oh, absolutely love this salad. We're going to cut it in half. Save one half for another dish. We're going to lay this one down. We're going to cut it into slices three quarters of the way through the onion. Stand it on its end. Drag your knife through three quarters of the way through. One and one more time. We're going to lay it down. Drag your knife through it. And you got perfect dices. We're going to add this to the salad. Okay, I was seeing how much bacon I needed. Probably about what I have here. So you want about six to eight pieces. It's already crisped up. What we're going to do is just cut it into bite-sized pieces. I hope some of it makes it into the bowl. Oh my goodness. Now instead of bacon cooked like this, you can get it from your store in the condiment aisle and it's already cooked for you. It's crumbled or you can get it in pieces if you want to do that so you don't have to heat up your oven. But oh my goodness, why when you can do it like this? Let's go ahead and add this to our salad. Okay, we're going to put some cheese into our salad. We're going to shred one cup of cheese. I'm going to do it fresh. Oh, it'll taste so much better fresh. All right, let's go ahead and add that to our other ingredients. Okay, we're going to mix this all together. All right, when we get this all mixed together, we're going to make that delicious four ingredient dressing that's going to pull this all together. In a small bowl, we're going to place three quarters cup of mayonnaise. One cup of sour cream. We're going to add half a cup of white granulated sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt. And take a small whisk or a fork and we're going to blend this all together. All right, let's give this a try. Mm. All right, let's go ahead and dress our salad. Oh, look how creamy that looks. It's just a four ingredient. All right, I'm gonna go get a spatula and get the rest of that out of there. We're going to take some tongs and blend this all together. You know where I'm going with this, huh? Delicious. 
That's it. I'm going to grab a fork and we're going to dive in. All right, here's my bite. Mmm. That is delicious. For the summertime, it's nice and cool and refreshing. Put it in your refrigerator and let all those flavors meld together. It's perfect for picnics, potlucks, church get-togethers, or heck, just have it in your own refrigerator to pull out some when you're ready for it. It's in my cookbook, Volume 1. Don't forget to look for that in the description box. Y'all give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and always hit that bell notification, because that will let you know when my shows, like this one here, are posted. If you're looking for more salad recipes, I'll link it down below in the description box under a playlist. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm.